I was like, why did it stop? I didn't even realize I was still holding A. I already got that one. What the? There's probably going to be like an episode at the end of this, which is just me screwing around with the stickers. Oh god, I hope I don't have to do the hopscotch back. No, don't ever draw new circles again. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what Mr. Criminal has to say. If I have anybody who can play his game. Stop taking my seats. You don't even ask. Oh, hey. I didn't even notice that. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Eat your seat, fatty. Flying saucer, I mean, frickin' frisbee. Annoying. I guess let's just <clears throat> negate all roots. Oh yeah, I already tried this. Come to death with this damn camera. Just get it over with. I've seen your pink frog. Oh, yeah. Forgot about this. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Sunflower cake. For some reason, that sounds very unappealing. Easy peasy. <laughs> That's an awkward sticker. Enough with the Christmas hat. Why would you find a Christmas hat in a park? When it's clearly not winter.
Hopefully it crushes and kills that cameraman. Pigeon probably found like a moldy french fry somewhere. Yeah, get the hell out of here. <clears throat> Alright, I know where I have to take this. Ah, I thought it was up and to the left. Take it like, right over here. They can't get over there unless I have to like do some backwards ass way of doing it. I probably need to like drop a tennis ball into the log so it rolls in or something ridiculous. Just put, just put it down. So basically, that accomplished absolutely nothing. Oh, wait. Can I go over to the other lily pads and get the pink frog? Aha, I see. <clears throat> no butt wiggle. You, walk five feet over to your father or grandfather. Found the grandchild. All right, Mr. Grandpa Frog. Frogs aren't pink. Well, some are, but not ones you find in a park.
Grandpa Frog is kind of creepy and ominous. I'm assuming you can't. You need one more person. Let's go get rid of that other frog, then. <clears throat> yeah, I've already been there. Here. For a second, I thought all there was was a C. I was gonna be like, oh, well, thanks. That was real helpful. He looks like trouble. He's also green. He's a Chernobyl hamster. Well, I guess we have to go get you some damn ice cream. <clears throat> Are you serious? Alright, so I guess we have to... We can't jump over? Uh, I guess we gotta take the long way. Annoying. You know, backtracking in games is one of those frustrating things. Like, I don't mind if it's a little bit of backtracking, or you have to figure out, like, where things go. But, like... When you have to backtrack through an entire level for one, like, little thing you could have grabbed at the beginning of the level, it's kind of frustrating. I understand if it's, like, a door that's become unlocked or something like that, but, like, I don't know. Going back for this one ice cream thing, kind of annoying. Hopefully I don't have to play hopscotch on the way back. Gimme. kid with some ice cream that we can steal. Unless I have to do something else first, but I can't figure out what the hell to do in between there. Alright, it's this way. I have a feeling this episode's gonna drag on a little bit. running around. I mean, at least, like, you know, if I was a kid and I got this game, at least the puzzle elements in it are interesting enough, it's not just, like, bland. But I probably would have gotten frustrated or bored after a little while. I mean, the game's entertaining enough, but this kind of stuff is, like, Killing it. Go get your own damn ice cream. Okay. There's probably like some random tree in the background I have to climb to talk to someone who wants something at the beginning of the level, like sand.
Damn you, trees. Alright, well, that's going to be all for this episode of Let's Play Hamtaro Rainbow Rescue with me, Warwick Dice. See you later!